I did not plan to match this bottle, but here we are. Today we're talking about a fragrance, a new fragrance from the house of Michael Malul. This is from their Couture collection, which has been around since not long after they started. And they actually sent me the whole collection a couple years ago, and I wasn't necessarily impressed with it. I think I did a whole video on it a couple years back and I talked about the collection. There was four releases at the time, some I liked more than others, and overall none of them really lasted very long. I passed that along to the brand. I think they since reformulated everything. But then I think they kind of went back to the drawing board and are relaunching the Couture collection altogether with new bottle designs, which I have to say are impressive and beautiful quality through and through, beautiful metal cap. I love the glass work. Ultimately a step up aesthetically. Now, this new fragrance is called San Lucas. I didn't know what to expect from this. It looked like it was gonna be something summery, maybe something beachy, at least something for the warmer weather that's coming up here. So I got it, I'm gonna put it on my hand here. I've worn it a few times now, and I have to say I've liked it more each time, and that's a fantastic atomizer, is it not? The first time I smelled it, I thought it was nice, I thought it was okay. It does smell very likable, very pleasing, very easy to wear in the mainstream vibe, which is not terribly different from the rest of the offerings in the brand, so can't really be too surprised. But as I spent more time with it, with another wearing and another wearing, yes, there is something simple about this fragrance, but there's a little bit of something special. There's a slight little pinch of magic in there that I find kind of intoxicating. I can't really explain it. And I wasn't the only one who liked it. As you see in the title, my fiance said, Mmm, you smell yummy. When I had this on, it was her second time smelling it. The first time I put it on my arm, I had her smell it up close. She smelled it and she said, that's nice. It didn't really move her at all. The second time I was actually finishing up a workout here at home, I was warm, my body had been heated up, and it was on my arm and it was really radiating and she smelled it in the air. And that's when it, I guess, captivated her. So that's something to keep in mind with any fragrance in general. Don't just go off what it smells like up close. You already know that's not realistic. When you wear it, that's not how people are gonna smell it on you in the world. I'm gonna see if I can get Grace's opinion. If so, it'll come right now. Literally Hello. minutes after I stopped filming, in she walked. And she approached me and she said, oh, you smell so nice, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow, I'm not actually wearing anything, but I just filmed a video on this fragrance. I had you smell <laughs> it on my hand and you said, oh, that's what I'm smelling. It smells really nice. It smells delicious. And you said you wanted to wear it. I was it. like, can I wear it? Yeah. Do you want to put it on your hand or do you want to actually just commit to it? I just want to commit to it. Okay. It's yours for committing. How many sprays? It's not very strong, so whatever you want. It has a great sprayer. Amazing. Yeah, this is nice. I like it too. So It's so summery. It is. I really and want it to be summery. Do you remember that day I was working out? We were like literally right here. And he said, mmm, you smell yummy. And that was the second time you smelled it. My body was warm and it was radiating and it was in the air and I think it really came to life. The first time you smelled it, it was up close, but just regular old me. And you're like, yeah, it's nice. You weren't really moved by it, but the second time it seemed to captivate you. Mm -hmm. So I do agree with you. I think that in the heat in the summer, yeah. this thing will it's come, to come alive. alive. Yeah. It is a very mainstream profile. There's nothing super off the wall about it. It will remind you of other fragrances on the market, stuff like YSL, Y, EDP, and things like that. But super easy to wear super likable i think it's pretty it's unisex lovely. Yeah. yeah so we either wait for the warm weather or work out while you wear it yeah. those are your options those are your only options or go to the sauna but you probably shouldn't wear, wear it, it in, in the, the sauna. yeah just spray the whole bottle and just <laughs> let it rip <laughs> don't do that it's a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys let's talk about the notes in the top we have apple fresh cardamom and bergamot in the heart we have iris geranium and lavender which is basically lavender but a different molecule and in the base we have cedar wood sandalwood and tonka bean so pretty standard note breakdown nothing here screams as something different as something off the wall as something that's going to give us a new profile not necessarily but yes i get apple and cardamom i get a fresh spicy refreshing quality that's almost crisp and fruity 
but without being overly fruity. Definitely a little bit of bright bergamot in there too. Mainly just making it, again, fresh. And it remains fresh as it dries. I wanna say that the slight twist that I get is the iris. The iris, I think, adds a little bit of this slightly dusty, powdery quality. The only word that comes to mind, and this is weird, is narcotic. That's a terrible word, but that's what comes to mind. I smell it, I'm like, mm. Okay. I smell through the layer of predictable and then it comes to something different and it catches me every time, especially in the air. Now, I would easily call this a unisex fragrance, maybe leaning a little masculine in regards to what other mainstream masculine designer fragrances are out there. It reminds me of a lot of those offerings in a way, but not of any one fragrance in particular. As I said at the beginning, I believed that this would be a great fragrance for the summertime and I do stand by that. I think this is suited for summer. The heat of the sun on a warm day this summer, I think is really gonna do this thing some good. So in terms of performance, not bad. It is an eau de parfum, so you can expect at least six hours on your skin. Your mileage will always vary, but I was getting six to eight hours, not massive, not beast mode. I also don't spray super heavy. It's supposed to be likable. It's supposed to be appealing. It's not supposed to be obtrusive or invasive or pervasive in any way. So don't come here looking for that. So if you have an interest in checking out San Lucas, I'm gonna have a link down below. I think it's really nice. I would easily rate it a seven out of 10, just in terms of likability of the scent. It's easy to wear. You're gonna get a lot of wear out of this thing if you do enjoy it. Let me know if you've tried San Lucas already or if you have an interest in trying it down in the comments below. And thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.